Well, you've got to hear this story. It's a sales pitch a lot of people don't want to hear or don't even know about. Obamacare. States beginning to advertise the impending changes on everything from coffee cups to porta potties. But will it work? Branding expert Rob Frankel joins me now. Rob, this is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard that the states are now going to have to advertise Obamacare using taxpayer dollars. Do you like what they're putting out there? Does it make sense to you? Uh, the overall idea of selling an idea is kind of what I do, so that part makes sense. What doesn't make <laughs> sense to me is the way that they're doing it, because ostensibly you have three different ways of Obamacare working, uh, you know, sold by 50 different states. With that's, what is that, a permutation of 150 different ways to tell the story, and none of them are telling the right story. Well, uh, how so? Well, let, wait a minute. Let me, let me show a couple, t talk about a couple of things they're doing. So they're putting pictures on porta potties. Listen to Oregon's ad because this is hysterical. This is what the state of Oregon is doing. I'll sing for the place that my heart is called home, where the salty sea air meets the cold mountain snow, where I'm free to be healthy and happy and strong and live long in Oregon. Long live the Oregon spirit. So now, how is that about Ob Obamacare? I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> neither do I. And I suspect <laughs> neither do any Oregonians. But someone's making money off that ad contract. Look, the fact of the matter is, is that this whole, this whole thing really should have had a centralized strategy. And it really should have been a centralized type of a campaign that should have been a lot more direct so that at least people could understand what it is that they're getting into. The number one problem with Obamacare is nobody really understands it. Nobody understands it, the least of which Congress, who wrote the law and then put it into place. I mean, uh, it's estimated that a billion dollars will be spent uh, by both sides, the people who are anti-Obamacare, the people who are pro-Obamacare, by 2015. How should they pitch this money? Well, hey, if they were calling me, I'll tell you what I would tell them to do, and that is I would target them directly at the youth market because huh. uh, young people are really the people you want to have buy into Obamacare because they're going to be, they're the high margin guys that are going to be paying for all this other stuff. But I think this country really lacks an opportunity for young people to step up. The only time you see people step up here is when there's a natural disaster. If you could convince people, hey, I ran on this ticket of change in 2007. Here's the change that you guys wanted, and here's how it works. By you guys adopting this, you're going to be able to help take care of each other and your older generation who needs the who really needs the stuff. That at least would give them a sense of productivity and purpose. Well, I admire the sentiment, but I got to tell you, it's a hard sell when it costs you more money than what you're doing this very minute. And that's what they have to sell here is a higher price tag, particularly for those young people. Rob, thanks for coming on tonight. It's fascinating what they're doing with this, and, and it's going to be interesting to see if people really do sign up. But, it, you know, if we take your words to heart, maybe not. Not with this message. <laughs> tough sell. A tough sell. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your time. You bet. <laughs> well,